Good morning. Welcome to the very first episode of Look What Meg Found. I am your host, Meg Campbell. I am also the owner of Meg Campbell Designs. And I wanted to take a few minutes at the beginning of this to tell you why we're doing this. I am a passionate supporter of handmade small businesses. I believe that there are so many of them out there that need to be shown to the world. You all need to see what these people make. And I absolutely cannot wait to show you guys what I find. I spend a lot of time out at markets and at craft fairs show and selling my own products and interacting and getting to know these vendors that I'm going to show you. And they are just, they have so many amazing things that are known locally, but they're not known widespread. And I want you guys to see them and I want you guys to get to know these vendors a little bit. So come along with me on this little journey. Today, I want to show you something that I do that I absolutely love doing, which is why I do it. Because if it's not a passion project, then why are we involved in it at all? So here's what I want to show you. I am a crafter. I'm a mom. I'm a wife. I work from home. But what we specialize in are solar lanterns. We make solar lanterns to add a little light to the dark world that we already live in. So they're very simple. They are glass jars. They have a solar panel that's built into the lid. It's all one piece. So these just need a little sunlight on a daily basis. And then as soon as the solar panel stops taking in light, they light up. This particular one is the jar of the month for January. So this will actually be gone on January 31st, 2021. So if this is one that you're falling in love with as you watch, you need to go ahead and get it quickly because these go away very quickly. Another reason why we decided to go with solar as opposed to electric or battery operated is the fact that it's family friendly. We use the solar panel, so there's no batteries that you have to change out constantly. There's no electrical outlet that you got to worry about kids plugging into. And the LEDs we use are cool touch. So even when these have been on all night, they never get hot enough to cause an injury. So you don't have to worry about when your kid grabs it or your pet knocks it down that anybody's going to get burnt. Anybody's going to get hurt. They are, I mean, I like them I started making these for my kids because the reason I started these is so that I would be able to have something my kids can pack around because they have a little handle on top. They can be hung if you want to use them as decor. They can be carried around and they're, they're user friendly. And that's what I love about them. This one is our Be Kind Lantern. It is a yellow glitter. And another fun fact with these is the glitter is all on the inside of the jar. So I know you're looking at it going, oh my God, it's glitter. I don't want glitter in my house. The glitter is all to the inside. So it is not going to drop all over your house or shed glitter. It's all contained. So these that are here are a few, a very small portion of the ones that we do. This is the original one that started it all. This is the original fairy. She's the one that one of the first one I ever produced and made is her. This is actually legitimately the first one. I keep her with me all the time. She never goes anywhere. She belongs to me. But they're a lot of fun. These small ones are great for kids. They're great for outdoor decor. I have I set them out. Like if I know we're going to have people over for parties or whatever, I set them outside. Most of the time, though, honestly, I keep them in my house. I love the way that they can sit in the window and charge up and then come on at night for you. And they add a nice little touch of light without being blinding. And also, I am in an area that is very prone to bad weather and hurricanes. So they're very useful for when the power goes out, which makes life so much simpler for me. So. Today is going to be a rather short live because I'm just finding my sea legs on these. Let me know what questions you have. Let me know what I can answer for you. And 
if you are, I'm thinking guys, my brain is firing faster than my mouth moves right now. So if you would like to be featured on Look What Meg Found, please feel free to shoot me an email at meg at megcampbelldesigns.com. And I will put in the comments on this where to purchase if you are interested in purchasing these lanterns for yourself or if you just want to check them out. Thank you so much, guys, for coming along on this trip with me. And I will see you guys next week. Bye, guys.